An alarming trend happening all across the country that is impacting Tucsonans more than ever before. People shining laser beams at planes and helicopters, including Tucson Police Department's helicopters, putting your life in danger. We want to warn viewers that this story contains photosensitive material of consistent flashes and might be sensitive to people with epilepsy. News for Tucson's Monica Garcia joins us from the airport where police are pleading with people to stop using these lasers. Monica. Hey there, Sean. If it does get a little loud, it's because we're right across the street from the Tucson Police Department's helipad. But I will tell you that so far this year, three pilots within the Tucson Police Department have suffered eye injuries. This is just this year again uh, from people pointing lasers up to the sky. And News 4 Tucson was the only local station invited into the cockpit to show you just how dangerous these bright beams can be as I go searching for solutions. Lifting off at sunset, thousands of feet above Tucson. And it literally felt like somebody punched me in the eye or a piece of debris came through the window and like lodged into my eye. Tucson Police Department's tactical support face to face with a blinding number of people targeting them with laser beams. I lost all the vision in my eye. I advised my tactical flight officer, we're being targeted by a strong laser or three o'clock. Put your goggles down. In an instant, their lives and the people on the ground are in danger. Attacks can last for minutes. The apartment complex is just north of here. Somebody up on a second floor balcony had a very, very brilliant green laser. Chief pilot Chris Potter from the Tucson Police Department suffered a burnt retina, lifelong damage. But that night, the smallest of movement could have been catastrophic. We try to train away from it, but human nature a lot of times when you see a bright light in an aircraft, you, you tend to look. According to new data from the Federal Aviation Administration, laser strikes against pilots reached an all-time high last year. And this year in Arizona, there have already been 249 reported dangerous laser strikes. Of those were three TPD pilots who suffered eye injuries. Emergency medical service helicopters flying uh, critical patients into heliports and the hospitals uh, and the jetliners that are flying into Tucson International Airport. Potter tells me adults are behind most of the cases where a suspect could be identified. So what is the solution to lasers pointed at pilots? Engaging the public and, and saying, look, this is not funny, but if you do do it, now knowing how dangerous it can be, there should be uh, very severe consequences. Shining a laser at a plane can carry an FAA fine of up to $11,000 per violation. But when it comes to criminal charges here in Arizona, recklessly aiming a laser pointer at a peace officer is just a class one misdemeanor. A slap on the hand, says Potter. There, there's no clockwork to it. In some weeks we'll have four in a week. News 4 Tucson reached out to local lawmakers who all say they do not know enough about the issue to comment. This is not stargazers. This is not somebody in their backyard with a Boy Scout group uh, pointing out constellations. Just like drinking and driving or something like that, right? Everybody knows, don't do it. Why? Because people die. And that's right. And another part of the solution is Tucson Police Department's effort with the FBI, which is now upping their efforts to target people and track down these folks that are pointing the lasers up to the sky. Law enforcement also says if you do plan on gifting a laser to a minor, please, they say, educate them on the dangers of misusing this device. Of course, if you do spot someone suspiciously using a laser, pointing it up to the sky, we have information on our website at kboa.com as to how you can report them. Near downtown, I'm Monica Garcia, News for Tucson. Thank you, Monica.